The Living Dead. I got to tell you this story. One day, I was in, um, this girl and I had decided to hitchhike to Los Angeles. It was really her idea, because I didn't know diddly squat about L.A. I was young and naive, you know how that goes, 19, stupid, stuck on it. And we're out there in L.A., and she decides, she hooks up with some guy we ain't never met before. We're in L.A., we're not in Pasadena, where she can easily get home. And she decides to go and hang through the night with this guy and they're going to do their little love thing. And I'm standing there like, well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know anything about this place. So this guy decides to offer me a ride home, but first he has to make a few runs. <laughs> I'm out there in the streets, right? I'm going to get down, get me some catch action, go to the club. I'm a little scared right now because I'm stranded, but at least I got somebody that's going to try to help me out. So that's cool, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Believe this or not. I sit up there, and this guy takes me to a couple's house. Now, I got to sit down and wait for them to do their business. He's selling them dope. That's really what he was doing, was, was doing a drop. And they're sitting up there with this nasty old spoon sitting on their table in the living room. Now, here was the trip. I'm looking at these two people. A man and a woman look like warmed over death. I mean, I've seen dead people look better than they did. I am not kidding. It was scary. They literally looked like uh, 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 somebody had sucked the blood out of their bodies. Their skins were dry and ashen and gray looking. I mean, they literally looked dead. They were skinny. They were half conscious. I mean, they actually looked like they were almost incoherent. It was like their brain activity had shut down. It was really scary to watch. One of them looked like he was almost about to keel over. And they, they, they stumbled their way to the chair so they could get on their knees and, and you know, do the little thing that they do to prepare the spoon, put the powder in there, burn it, and then suck it up through the dirty syringe and shoot up. And they're tying the stuff around their arm and they're sitting up there shooting up and then they're nodding out. And I'm looking at them saying, they're already dead. They might as well just lay down and give up the ghost. It was the saddest thing to watch. They didn't look happy, you guys. Now, they may have started out getting a little high, smoking a little something, something, drinking a little something, something, partying all night, you know, just doing what everybody else was doing. But that thing got a hold of them. They weren't partying anymore. They weren't having any more fun. They were slaves to the very thing that was killing them. I don't know if they lasted a week. I'm serious. That is how dead they looked. They literally looked like dead people that didn't know they had died. Weird. No color in their skin. It, it was really bizarre. And this is the sad part. Some of you are determined, determined to do your thing. And you don't want to hear nobody say anything about it. Because it's your body, it's your business. Whatever you do, sweetheart, it's going to affect other people. It's always someone else's business. Do you want to go out like that? Is that what you want? Is that all you amount to? I don't know what to ask you at this point because the sad part is some of you will follow suit and you will go all the way down that road and walk in that couple's footsteps and never have a chance to look back and change your mind because one day you'll stick that syringe in your arm and you won't wake up. 
you'll end up in eternity. And in that sad case, how sad. I hope you want more than that. I hope you think you're worth more than that because you are. You were beautifully and wonderfully made by God. You weren't made to end up like that. Wake up. Smell the coffee. Please stop. Turn around. Turn your life around while you have a chance. Please think about it at least.